Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to verify existing records from the database using PyMS SQL module in Python. Now let's look at a database. This database is hosted locally using Microsoft SQL Express. And under this Microsoft SQL Express server, I have a database installed. The database name is AdventureWorks 2012. You can find the sample database on the internet and you can install this database into your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. In this database, we have a table named Human Resources that department. So I right click on the table and click on select top 1000 rows so on this window we can see the results or you can simply use select all from adventure works 2012. Human Resources. Department. And I click on Execute. Now all records returned. In this table, we have Department ID, Name, Group Name, and Modified Date. So in this example, I will verify one of the department name exists in this table using PI MS SQL module. For documentations, you can always visit pymssql.org to get the documentation for using PI MS SQL module. On this database, let's look at the connection string. I right click on the database server name and look at the properties. On this property window, there's a view connection properties link. And here I use the username SA. That's the super admin user. And server name is test automation slash SM test. The instance name is SM test. And it uses SQL server authentication. And under this, we also have database. We have database adventure works 2012. So when using Pi MS SQL module, we need to establish a connection using connection string. And then we need to define a cursor to make a SQL query and then execute that cursor to return the record is from the SQL query script. Now let's look at the actual script. I created a Python file, name it as Selenium Python database select unit test.py. 
And for this, I use Python unit test framework. And I use Py MS SQL module. And in this class, I named the class as Python database testes. On this setup method, I create a MS SQL connection. So self dot connection equals pi ms sql dot connect the host equals test automation slash sm test sm test is the sql express instance and user is sa and password is pass at word and database is adventure works 2012 so in this setup method, I created a SQL connection. Now I created a test method, name it dev test verify record exists. So I created a local variable connection equals self dot connection. Second, I create a cursor and this cursor will return the records as a dictionary so I use as dict equals true so cursor equals can or connection dot cursor as dict true so now I get all records from the name column of the table human resources dot department so now I use cursor dot execute select name from human resources dot department so this will return all the rows from the name column and this will return all records including the column name as a dictionary in the list object so fetch all records as dictionary so this will record this equal cursor dot fetch all now we close the cursor because we already have executed the sql query script now we print records so this records will be a list of dictionary items now i create a list to contain each department name Create a list to contain department names. So department names equals empty list. Add each department name to the list above. Now for record in record is department name equals record dot get name because each item in the list is a dictionary. And this dictionary is a key value pair. Here, the key is a column name. So this will get the department name and return as a string department name. Now, I add the department name to the department names collection. Department names dot append department name now i print department name so now i print the total number of records so print total records equals percentage d that's the digit and this is len department names so this will return the number of uh, record counts from the department names list or it will return the number of items in the list. Now, assert the record exists. So from this record, I want to verify that the engineering is exists in the record. So let's look at the database. On this database, the engineering is the first one. The list contains engineering. Or we can also verify other names. 
So department names dot index and this is index means it will find the item from the list and if it does not find it will return minus one if if the the item exists in the list then the index is not minus one so i use uh, minus one not equal to minus one for the assertion so this is how we can verify a record exists in a table now let's execute the script and check the result. So I use the uh, command prompt and this file is selenium python database select unit test. So I hit enter. Now this is the uh, first print records result so it records a list of dictionary item each item contains name and value pair so name value name value and here name is the name column and value is the each row or each record so after this here for every record i obtain the value so here um, all records are printed out and here total records equals 716 and run one test in 0 0.079 seconds so now let's uh, look at the teardown so in this teardown method i use self.connection.close please remember that after your verification is done, you need to close the connection to the database so you don't use up the resource. And in this unit test framework, um, if name equals main, unit test.main. So this is how we can execute unit test. So now let's try verifying a different record. So on this database, we have shipping and receiving. So I copy this string and on this um, index I change the find string shipping and receiving now I save it and I execute the script above so now I clear the console CLS and execute the script so Python selenium Python database select unit test.py. So I hit enter. So now the run one test in 0 0.031 second and test result is okay. So using the uh, connection string, using the cursor, and using fetch all. And using um, the item.index, you can verify if a record exists in a table. So in summary, step one, you need to establish a connection to the database using the host name or IP address, username, password, and database, and then you define a cursor to build a SQL query script and on this cursor you can set as dictionary equals true return item is as a dictionary then use cursor dot execute this is the SQL query script you execute the SQL query and you fetch all records you close the cursor and you create an empty list. You iterate through the list of dictionary items and get the key name and add each department name 
to the department name is list collection and from department name is list collection you use the index to do assertion if you have any question regarding this script you can always visit www.seleniummaster.com for instructional articles or you can email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.